Hey, good morning, everybody. What's up? What's up? What's up? It's Wednesday. Woo! So excited, so excited, so excited to have you guys on here this morning. We're going to be talking about uh, learning, right? Learning, learning, learning. It is an ongoing skill set that something that we should all be continuing to do, right? Because as everything is changing, we have to continue to change with it so that we can stay relevant and not end up being obsolete in the times, right? Because of just lack of education, lack of understanding. So it's definitely the time that we're in where there's great change among us. And for those of us that are open to learn and to grow, well, it's going to be a pretty exciting time for us. I know that uh, without a shadow of a doubt, it will be a very, 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 very exciting time for us. So that's great. So excited to have you guys on here. Go ahead really quickly and share this feed. Okay. Go ahead and share this feed because uh, I promise you uh, there are people out there, your family, your friends that need to hear the information, right? They need to hear the information. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with prayer. And then uh, we'll go ahead and jump right into our subject matter at, at hand. Okay. All right. So Father, right now in Jesus name, God, we thank you. We bless you. We honor you for this is the day, the set time that you have called for us to win, to dominate, to take over, to go aggressively after everything that you called us to. God, I thank you, Lord, now that every person up under the sound of my voice, that they are blessed and empowered to prosper, to learn, to evolve, to change, to grow. And God, I thank you that all that we put our hands to, it shall prosper and be of good success. Today is our receiving day. I prophesy now double on everything in Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys, excited to have you guys on here. Um, again. And so I want to jump right on in here just to kind of, um, we've been doing this uh, live every single morning at the same time, Monday through Friday. So I want to encourage you to jump in and, you know, get in there, um, get on these because one thing about um, having wealth conversations, I promise you, every time I have a wealth conversation with someone in my wealth family, something is triggered, right? Some, I learn something. I hear something. I see something that I'm like, Oh, this is really, really good. Or this is really, really, really important. Right. And so this morning, I want to talk to you just a little bit about setting up strong, um, what I call an asset tracker. I actually developed an asset tracker. And basically the whole goal of that tracker was to make sure that it was to help a person to stay on track, right? With what their goals were, with the things that they said that they wanted to do, the things that they said that they wanted to accomplish. And so there are two types of assets that I want to talk about. And then we're going to actually go live on location with a very good friend of mine and business partner. Um, we've been able to build a very, very strong um, uh, wealth portfolio and uh, have both been blessed to be able to individually build some very strong assets and particularly in the area of real estate, right? I have been in interested in real estate for quite a while, but honestly, I just didn't know like uh, where to really get started. And so, um, you know, one thing about having a desire in your heart, if you begin to ag aggressively pursue it, it's going to happen. Um, and I was always really interested in the area of trading foreign currency because I knew 10 years ago, some of you all may have heard this story, but 10 years ago, Ben and I actually had somebody to come into our life that knew how to trade foreign currency. And so we, at that time, this has probably been about 10 years or so ago, we gave him $10,000 to trade for us. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. Child, I know what he was doing. I just knew he was doing something with foreign exchange, with some nations and some currencies. <laughs> I really didn't know what he was doing. I really didn't know you know, how any of that looked. I just was like, he said he can grow our money by trading. And that's cool. Now, I don't know if you guys can hear uh, music in the background, but my honey is having a um, concert, virtual concert downstairs, honey, morning meditation. And it's good. And his office is literally right up under my office. But anyway, um, so we gave them that and they started to 
um, he started to trade for us. And so every single month we would average about a thousand to $2,000 every month. And this happened for the year, two years that he traded for us. And then he had some things happen personally and excuse me, that he wasn't able to continue to trade. So that kind of went out of the window. But I remember saying to myself, shoot, DD, I need to learn how to trade, right? I want to learn how to trade. Like, what is this? So when I saw this opportunity to, uh, four years ago now, actually, and uh, someone called and said, hey, you can actually learn how to trade foreign currency and cryptocurrency, excuse me, and all of it happens from your cell phone. I was like, bro, I'm in. Count me in, Angela. So I signed up and I started to learn. And as a matter of fact, just this morning, um, I was trading on my phone and last night I grew my account by about 10%. Hey, trading. Uh, as a matter of fact, I just had another trade, close out and profit, NAS 100. Oh man, I love this. This is this, this, this whole trading thing is probably one of the smartest things that anybody could ever do. And so, yes, Kimba, smart girl, time to learn. And so basically you're going to have access where we're going to teach you. And of course, if you look at that, that looks very confusing, but let me open it up a little bit. And um, you can kind of see that those rectangles are either going up or they're going down. And of course, when you first see it, it's like, <laughs> but I promise you, we're going to break it down for you so that it makes sense. But all of this trading literally happens on your cell phone. One of the first things that you'll do is you'll sign up. And basically what you're doing is you're signing up and telling yourself, I'm signing up to learn. I'm signing up to learn. I'm signing up to get educated. That's how you learn, right? To make that decision that I'm going to learn. Yes, Keith, yes. NAS 100 did hit take profit. By the way, uh, because let's see, let me pull it up on my pivots right now and see what we have going on. If uh, you see another buy or sell opportunity, in NSA, let NAS let me know. Um, I'm pulling it up. And you know what? Um, I'm going to make sure that I pull this up where you guys can see it. I would have had to do that before I got on here, uh, but I'll make sure uh, maybe tomorrow we'll actually have it pulled up. Uh, guys, go ahead and share this feed. Go ahead and share this feed because this is going to be a really um, – good wealth conversation today. So we want to make sure. Okay. So it looks like, uh, let me see. Oh wait, no, that's us 30. Okay. Let me show you what I'm looking at. So you guys aren't like, what's she doing? Can you see it? Oh man. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. NAS 100. So what I'm doing right now is I'm actually pulling up a chart and these charts are what you're going to learn. These charts are going to teach you whether you're going to be buying or whether you're going to be selling. Um, and just looking at NAS, if anybody else is trading this morning, um, oh, you've been wanting to try this since you heard Cindy and I speak. Tawana, let me tell you something. It's definitely something you want to do. Oh, uh, I don't think you guys can really see it like that. I'm going to um, make sure you guys are able to see this. It looks like NAS 100 is a sale to me. Somebody else wants to confirm that. But anyway, um, let me get back to what I'm talking about. But I want to talk to you guys about training this. Nikki just signed up two, year, uh, two days ago. Definitely excited. So what you want to do is tell yourself that you want to commit to 15 to 30 minutes a day, learning and studying, looking at the chart. So this is what I want to do right now is um, let me see if I can pull this up really quickly. Uh, give me one moment. I want to see if I can pull this up really, really quickly for you guys and see if, because I want to be able to show you this. I think if you're able to see it, it will make even more sense to you. All right. Let's see here. All right. Um, let's see. Okay. I'm going to see if I can share this screen with you. Okay, guys, great. So I think you can see this. So what happens is, is when you sign up, okay, when you sign up, 
you're going to have access to what we call a back office because basically what you're doing is you're committing and saying, hey, I'm giving myself an, an, giving myself an opportunity to learn how to trade foreign currency. So it says strategies right here. We have several different strategies um, that you'll have an opportunity to learn. Um, and so right here, as I'm going through this, Angela, if you could just text me because I just want to make sure you guys can see it. I think you can, but I just want to make sure. Angela, if you could text me and just confirm that you see it, okay? All right, great. So what you're gonna do here is you'll hit pivots. Um, this is just one of the strategies that I like to trade. And, um, and again, we're going to you know, show you exactly how this all works. Now, right up here, you see at the top is markets. Um, someone that has my number, can one of you guys text me? I just wanna make sure you guys can see this. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. What are you doing? Go back here. Okay. Okay, good. You can see it. Okay. So this is what we call pivots, right? So this is one of my favorite pairs. Now, again, we're going to walk you through. I'm just kind of giving you guys an overview because I want you to see how simple this is to, um, I'm going to break it down where it's really simple. So Right now, I'm going to go, um, if you click on markets, you have the opportunity to learn how to trade Forex, metals, oils, digital currencies, indices, and master trades. Now, some of you might say, I don't even know what all of that is. <laughs> That's okay. You're going to learn because you need to know this is where the wealth is. This is where the money is. Okay. Now, I'm going to move over here and I'm going to click on uh, over here indices i like to trade indices so or let me do it up here just to keep it simple so i just hit indices right here okay now um when i pulled up indices and i'm hitting it right here to the right all right now usually so let me just do this so right here this is swiss franc and japanese yen C H F. And you'll learn the symbols and the letters. You'll learn all of that. The 30 basically represent the different time frames, right? If you look over here to the right, these are the different time frames that we trade 15, 30, one hour, four hour, and day. Okay. So I'm just going to hit the 15 minute right here. I'm going to scroll down here. NAS 100 is an indice, and that's what we were talking about earlier. I'm pulling that up. Now, if you notice right here, you see a lot of colors, right? And you see numbers. We're gonna break that down for you so that you understand what that is. Now, let me say this. Uh, it says my screen is frozen, Lamar. Okay, is it still frozen? Okay, is it still frozen? Okay. I'm hoping you guys can see. All right, so now right here, this is NAS 100. Now, let me break it down like this. My Lord, help me to convey this to beginners because I know sometimes when you've been doing this a while, you speed through and people will be like, I don't know what you're talking about. All right, so let me do this really quickly. I'm adding on, these are what we call indicators, okay? And again, right now, I know these look like a bunch of uh, squiggly lines. Okay. You don't see the charts. Okay. Mm -mm. Okay. Carrie is on. Let me bring Carrie on. I'll, I have to bring you guys back to that. Hey, Carrie, what's happening? What's good, Dr. Jewel? It's good. It's good. I'm excited to have you on. So I was just kind of showing everybody what the charts actually look like. Uh, for trading, but I saw you were on. So I was like, oh, wait, let me bring on my business partner. So guys, those of you that are watching right now, I'll bring you back to the charts. If we don't do it today, um, we're going to be doing it like every day. I want to I want to show you guys how simple it is to learn. So first of all, um, let me say, Carrie, thanks for jumping on here right now. I appreciate you. Um, Carrie is like one of the best business partners anybody could have. He's diligent, he's on fire, he's passionate, and he plays no games with that bag, right? Um, and he actually is from Detroit, well, he's from Texas, but he lives in Detroit. Uh, Carrie, how far are you right now from, uh, from the property? I'm about eight minutes away. 
Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, we're about two minutes away from the property. So. Okay, that's yeah. perfect. Nice. So we'll chop it up just a little bit. So thanks for getting on here. Yay. Um, so let yes. me tell you guys, you, still, you only saw the Pivots icon. Okay, guys, thanks for sharing that. We'll come back to Pivots later, but thank you. So anyway, so Carrie, I was telling you guys earlier that I was really, really um, excited about learning how to trade foreign currency. And I was, I was excited about building a real estate asset portfolio. Now I want you guys to share this feed right now because I think this is really important because a lot of people want to get in real estate. They want to create cash flow. They just don't know what to do. And so I was actually talking to Camille one day because um, Carrie and I both, uh, come from the same ministry. We have the same spiritual parents out of Detroit. And I was telling um, Camille that I was really looking for another business partner in real estate because I had one, but they kind of got a little flaky, right? Uh, and so anyway, I learned from him, but I can't do business with people when it's flaky. And so anyway, Carrie was talking to somebody else that works with Carrie and they said, man, he is killing it in real estate. And I was like, okay, let me get on with Carrie. So guys, really what I want you guys to really understand about what I'm talking about is the trading foreign currency, the real estate, they're all connect because they all put you in a position to have cash flow. So Carrie, thanks again for joining us. People are shouting you out on the comments. Hey. L'Oreal, they all like, hey, Carrie. What's <laughs> um, good, what's good? Hello. So, so basically, Carrie, tell me how you got started, first of all, in real estate. How I got started. All right, so it began, uh, I, I, I was actually in, in it with my dad in Texas when he bought his first rental property. Uh, well, fix a flip, well, he was going to flip it, but he ended up deciding to keep it. So uh, my dad back in 2014 bought a, a home that was foreclosed on. And um, and then we did some rehab work to it. I didn't, like, like, keep in mind, I didn't know nothing about real estate. I was just trying to help my dad. And... Uh, <laughs> So I helped my dad out with finding the contractors and making sure we, you know, stayed within the budget and things like that. Finding the tenant, helping them advertise it so they could find the tenant. And then fast forward, uh, I began to, I moved here to Michigan in 2000, um, was it 2016? And uh, I began to work under my spiritual father, which is Apostle A.T. Jackson. And, you know, I started managing his properties and things like that. And as I was managing them, I to learn more. Uh, I didn't know everything about it. Like I, I made a lot of mistakes, uh, but I learned from those mistakes. Um, and one thing about him, he loved to have thinkers on his team. So I was always being creative on how to profit, how to make some money, how we can do this. So that's how I began to learn even more about real estate, which is being hands on. And a lot of times people always want to know, like, how do I start? Where do I start? Just get involved, find someone to, you know, to help. Like, you know, just don't look for handouts, but look for hand ups. So you always want to do that. And that's how you, that's your first start right there. Your first step to, to start investing is really getting around, getting around someone to see how you can help serve them. And uh, does it make sense, Dr. Drew? That makes a lot of sense. And I love that. And you're absolutely right. So you basically just kind of got your hands in it and started mm -hmm. you know, working and getting in the trenches with it. And so I mm -hmm. called Carrie and I was like, you know, I heard you're doing some pretty amazing things and you know, that he had helped our spiritual father. We have the same spiritual father build this very mm -hmm. strong, large real estate portfolio. And I was like, wait, hold up. <laughs> <laughs> yes. that. Like that's strong. And so, okay. So you started working with, um, mm -hmm. Apostle Jackson helping him with his real estate thing. So as you started doing that, at what point did you buy your first property? When did that happen? Man, once I seen that first deal that I helped him get, <laughs> I said, you know what? I need to get my own bag. Right. You know so I begin to uh, I begin to strategize and begin to do some research on um, research on properties through uh, Craigslist and through other you know outlets that were out there. I began to look through what mainly Craigslist at the time. And um, and it was risky because there was a lot of scam and stuff that was going on. So nice. I didn't know much about do, do like doing the do, doing do, doing the do, doing the, doing the, call it doing the do because it's doing due diligence. And uh, I didn't understand that back in the day, but I knew about, I wasn't stupid. So I knew like it's a lot of scams on here. So a guy had a property for sale on Craigslist for very cheap. It didn't make sense to me because in Texas, you know, properties are very expensive. Uh, but not for no 
five thousand thousand dollars. So when I saw that on Craigslist, I was like, man, this, this this sounds too good to be true. So I went ahead and took a leap of faith. And um, at the time, I would listen to a lot of motivational speaking and stuff like that with um, with uh, Eric Thomas and uh, Steve Harvey. And one of the one of the motivational uh, speaking speakers I listened to was when Steve Harvey was talking about uh, jumping. Sometimes you got to jump. And, uh, and I was like, man, you know what? So I took that leap of faith and I jumped. I, I wired the guy the money for the, the property. Come to find out the guy was legit. And he ended up having 12 more properties for sale. So I got all 12 properties. My first deal that I made was 10000 And And guess how much I started with? How much? A thousand. <laughs> <laughs> it wow. was a thousand. Yeah. So I took that leap of faith and... I don't know because I before I, you know I was still asking the guy a lot of questions. By the way, we're about to pull up to your properties, Dr. Jewel. Okay, um, great. Hey, I just saw Crystal so, jump on. Hey, Crystal. Hey, China. What's up? <laughs> what's up? Is that my, my wife, Crystal, just jumped on? Yeah, she just jumped on. Oh, what up, boo? <laughs> hey, cutie. So, okay, so you took a thousand dollars. And then next thing you know, you took, you turned it into ten thousand dollars. Yep, because this is what I did. I didn't even do anything to it, but like, just made it look presentable. You know, cut the grass, pick up some trash. You know, do the little bare minimum things, make it look nice when you take. But what I did was I just re-uploaded it back to credit. And because the guy that actually was selling me the property, um, he he didn't he was out of state. He was out of state, so he didn't have no foot on the ground or nothing like that. So he he just needed help. So he was just pretty much tired of just um, squatters getting in his properties and you know keeping up with the maintenance of the property, overgrowth grass. So I took that headache off of him because I'm here, feet on the ground. I'm here. So I was like, I can get thousand bucks for it. Wow. You know, he was like, no, no. I was like, well, it's only costing you more money. I started negotiating now because that's right. one thing that one of my strength is is negotiating. So I began to tell him, like, you know, you got to maintenance it. You're going to start getting tickets in the mail. You know, you, you know, people, got squatters going to break in. So I just began to try to, like, find ways to make him break. <laughs> and it, and it yeah. worked. And uh, so once I did that, I relisted it back on Craigslist. And then I had so many inquiries. It was like, wow. I was, like, setting up uh, appointments to, for people to view the property. So now I was at a bidding war. So a person was like, I, uh, I'll give you 5000 cash. I'm like, nope, 10000 and one person might give you eight thousand. One person said, "I give you ten. So I went with the highest bidder on that ten. That yeah. is bidder. that is bananas. So now listen, uh, those of you that are listening, this is really important because twenty twenty, you're gonna either put yourself in position to get educated and learn and connect with the right wealth squad. See, it's all about having the right mm -hmm. wealth squad. See, I knew that I wanted to invest in real estate, but it wasn't until I had the right wealth relationship that could kind of lay it out for me. I had started doing some investing in Atlanta. I had started doing some investing in DC, but some of those partners went sideways. And that's why guys, even as you're listening to this this morning, you might say, well, you know, such and such talked to me about trading foreign currency or somebody else talked to me about investing in real estate. One thing about it, I don't follow people who don't have results, right? If they don't have the right results in their lives, if they don't have integrity, Right. If, if I can't ask questions and that's one of the things that I love about what we've created here with trading for currency, you can ask all the questions and everybody in the team win. Like everybody winning. And you might start off like Carrie started off with a thousand dollars and turn out a thousand in the ten, right? But here's the thing: if you hang out with somebody that you can take a thousand and turn it into a ten, you think you can take ten eventually grow that. Grow your own thousand dollars a ten yep. and go yep. to a hundred thousand, and you can do that on the forex side and the trading side. So now this is a property, uh, Carrie. Are you there? You kind of froze. You kind of froze. Yeah, I'm here. I'm actually getting. Get, you get on the froze. Okay, hopefully you get on frozen in a minute. So actually, this property that Carrie is at right now, this is a property that he called and said, "Hey, um, I, I just found this property." You know, I just found this property and I think it might be a really good deal for you. Now, check this out. When I bought this property, I was excited because it was cash flowing. It had five people in it. Five people. They all had like a room or whatever. 
I was like, hey, I'm about to get a property that's cash flowing. <laughs> so you guys are about to learn what happened really quickly. Um, hopefully, he'll be able to show it to us. But here's the thing. We ran into some bags with it. You see, that's why I think you have the right partner. Even if you, if you you tell yourself, okay, I'm about to learn how to trade foreign currency. You might actually run into some snags, but because you're in relationship and partnership with us, you're going to help you walk through those snags. So, um, okay, man, we're still frozen right now. We still can't see you. I hope that works. Right, there we go. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, you're at the property. Take us through, Carrie. Tell us about the property. What you see? You at Elmhurst. All right, so I'm here. I'm here at Dr. Jewel's property. One second, let me get my glove on. I know that's <laughs> right. We got some guys in there. So now this property, I think I bought for twelve five, and um, we ran into a little bit of a headache with it. Okay, he's here. Contractors are there. Yay! So we gotta get this thing. Well. That's all. What's up? Hold on, Dr. Jill. Let me put my Bluetooth on real quick because I can't hear. All right. All right. So he's on location. They're rehabbing this property. I have. Oh, Garland Wayne, six nine. And we had to. Um, they moved out actually. So, oh, I take it and I invest in digital assets like crypto, which will teach you how to do, and invest. And again, I bought this property and I can get rent on it probably for about 900 Okay, I think so. Try talking. Hey, can you try talking? Okay, I'm talking. I see the contractors in the back. They have bad, yeah. have bad connection. To you. you hear me? Yeah, I hear I'm you. Talking, I'm talking. Maybe try going and... to the part of my house. Okay, good. They're in there doing work. Now, okay, so basically um, I use, for this property, I think I just use cash. And um, again, let me show you guys this chart so while he's trying to get um, in a place so we can hear him. We're going to teach him. Carrie, try going to another part of the house. So see these charts right here? I know this looks confusing, but we're gonna break it down for you. Just notice this, they're just two colors. Um, red and green. So it's like going back to primary school. If you know your numbers, you know your colors, and you know your ABCs, you can trade, and we'll teach you, we'll break it down for you. Okay, Carrie's probably trying to find another place in the house to get to. Um, where we have Wi-Fi, but this is what I wanted you guys to just kind of see how you can take your money that you're making from trading and then take it and start actually um, investing in hard assets and buying property. And the thing about it, you can buy property wherever you want. I just go wherever there's a flow. And somebody calls me with a deal in Vegas and it's good. And I feel like I have a team that I can trust that can... Hey. Okay, it looks like he had to come back outside. Hey, can you hear me? Hey, Dr. Jewel. Hey, okay, I know your can wife. You hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Can you show them the house and maybe the neighborhood? Okay, cool. Can you see it? Yes, okay, great. So Carrie, will you tell them about the house and a little bit about the neighborhood? Okay, so yeah, so this house is a, uh, I believe it's a four bedroom home. Uh, they converted the upstairs attic into a room. And uh, 
it's uh it's this area is actually in about another year probably about another two years they're going to have a lot of new, new development going on and so this is actually a good purchase you know she got neighbors next door uh she even got a multi-unit over here across the street another multi-unit over there across the street so this is a very busy street right here that she's on um they already starting to tear down buildings that's how you're able to know like um when the city's starting to do some new development around because they start tearing down buildings and I mean, houses and things like that, clearing out the lots and things like that. Can you hear me, Dr. Jewel? Yeah, I hear you good. I hear you good. Okay, it look like I'm frozen. Yeah. Okay, so um, so that that's one of the things that I, I loved about this property when Jewel purchased it. It was that uh, it was actually performing. It already had tenants in there. Uh, I don't know about the situation now. <laughs> uh, 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 you actually looking for new tenants now or what's going on? Yeah, we are. You actually helped me put them out because remember that mm -hmm. was the thing where, um, what was her name? Mother Willie or something. Unfortunately, there was a oh, yeah, 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 yeah. that was smoking crack with her daughter. My God. Hey, that another thing. You got to be prepared for these things right here. It, it, it ain't no no glitter and gold type of situation when you invest in this you're going to come across all type of situations so you just be prepared for them have tough skin and just keep it moving uh but yeah i did help dr drew I, I remember we did so many deals i i forgot about that but yeah but i did help you get those individuals out and uh and now we're trying to get it all rent ready so we can put another tenant in there yeah and we had and remember after we put them out we had a guy move in two guys moved in were roommates and the one guy, wasn't, he wasn't trying to pay his rent, but the other guy <laughs> was. And so Earl was dealing with them a lot. And so, but they were, but they end up paying, you know, so mm -hmm. I seven fifty every month. I was able to yeah. recoup my initial investment. So now when I go back in, this property will be completely cash flow. Yeah. Yep. Completely cash flow. So a guy just rode by on the bike. He was telling me that this property uh, I'll share it with you after this, but it's a property that's next to you that's for sale. And it's a multi-unit, Dr. Jewel. What? Why do they want to acquire that? Hey, come on, Holy Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> he, heard, he heard me talking. He heard me talking. No he came by with, rode by his bike. That property over there on the corner is for sale. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, let's talk about nice. it. You want to go? You want me to show you? Show you yeah, let's do it. Yeah, for sure. Let's do it. So, guys, you know, why Carrie is, is talking about this? Again, this is why you know, these relationships are so important. And this is why we started doing these little conversations Monday through Friday, because it's just like I was trading earlier and I just threw a trade out there. Keith got in on the trade and made some money. He cares just happens to be in the, in the trenches right now. So talk to us. Okay, let's look at this. That looks good. It looks like uh, empty right now. It looks like the window is busted. Yeah, the window's busted. Uh, but it's nice. Look at the brick. Look at the structure. They got. They have a parking lot right here. Yep, like it. So it's probably totally empty already. Yeah, it's already empty. You can tell because they started. They boarded it up. Mm-hmm. This has a lot of potential. Wow. Yeah, this is good. Oh yeah, that's good. I see the boards now. This is good. Yep. And it's right on the corner too, isn't it? Yeah, it's right on the corner. Yeah, and we already look know. All these other, look at all these other multi-units that's next to it. You got one right here. You got one right here. You got those that are empty. Yeah, that's good. That's, what, that's recession proof. When you buy these multi-units, no matter what, it's going to bring in cash flow because once people start Let's say, like, once people, God forbid, it happens, but just want, let's say, for instance, things start happening, they'll crash, a recession or something like that happens. People start losing their homes, and what they start doing is they start going into these multi-units. They start, you know, trying to save money and little grade, downgrade on a few things. That's good. Oh, well, I've got a fence. Mm-hmm. So see something like that, I can't see it. Can we put a little playground out there? Oh, most definitely you can. Most definitely you can. Yeah. Listen, like if you inquire this lot behind you, it's a big lot behind there too. That can be like a playground area. Oh wow. See, all that kind of stuff, guys, adds value to the property. That's really good. 
So what happens, Carrie, kind of talk about, because this is in Detroit, Arisha, um, on the west side, off the of, um, Elmhurst. This is actually on Elmhurst in Detroit. But kind of talk about, and this is what I want to say for you that, that are watching right now. The beautiful thing is, is like once you get in these wealth circles, right? It's like one deal after the other deal. L'Oreal just for yes, yeah, so many deals. It's like one trade after the other, right? Trading one trading for yeah. one crypto card, trading one crypto after another, trading one real estate deal after another. Talk about how since you've kind of started, you've just kept growing your portfolio. You know, you don't have to give exact numbers, but if you can kind of just tell them kind of where you started. <laughs> And kind of what uh -huh. you're able to do. And just okay, the phone, the phone is going in and out, Dr. Joe. Can you repeat that last? Yeah, kind of talk about how because you kind of got in the wealth family or wealth circle, you're constantly being introduced to one deal after the other. And so you started in 2016 with that was your first property, right? Yeah, that was my first property. And you don't have to give the exact number because you ain't got to tell. The people, all y'all, you know, business. <laughs> but you got to talk about, if you don't mind, kind of give them just, you know, a little bit of what kind of portfolio you've been able to build in just really, what, four years? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, within the four years. So I built a $3.5 million real estate portfolio here in Michigan. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. But it took a lot of grind, man. Like I said, that wasn't easy. It was just day in, day out, making it happen. No excuses. Um, not taking no for an answer. Like, I'm out here. I'm a CEO. I'm a boss. I'm a boss. And I'm out here on the in the trenches. Like I said, uh, it don't matter, man. You just got to keep, like, you got to change your mindset when it comes to just, just, I don't know, just, I guess, hang around the right circle of people. That's what I do. I hang around nothing but successful people when it comes to their business mindset. I want to learn what they know. Um, you know, I'm just like a sponge. You know, you want to be yeah. teachable. You want to just be a learn it all, not a know it all. Yeah. And, uh, so that's one of the ways I did. I, I'm not afraid to ask questions. Um, and that's how you. That's how you learn. Ask a lot of questions, and just just get it in, Jack and Joe. Just get it. That's all I know. All I know is how to get it out the mud. No, it's good. <laughs> and you know, and we and we stay hungry, and we and we hang around people that are fighters. And I think, you know, as we yeah. get ready to wrap, that's the thing I really want to say. Right now, you got to hang around people that's fighters. You know, I love that scripture. My husband and I taught that, and we were just preaching to each other on Saturday night, and then we came and preached it on the pulpit on Sunday. And I just want to preach it to you really quickly. You know, the Bible says that when Goliath showed up in the earth, that he was a bully. He had the whole nation afraid. He even had King Saul, right? Was wow. Yeah. And the Bible talks about how King Saul was a man great in stature. And, and then David heard that the king was going to give a ransom for anybody that wasn't afraid of Goliath. So David showed up and his brothers were looking at him and they were like, you tripping, bro. What are you doing here? You too small. You just, you, you're not even really a warrior like that. But David, the Bible says he had an overconfidence. David was overly confident that he could defeat Goliath. To me, Goliath represents the virus. It represents lack. It represents poverty. It represents compromising your standard, compromising what you know God has told you you can have. And the Bible, and so David even told, um, I mean, Saul told David, you can't even fight Goliath. But David began to tell him, he says, sir, in my private time, Every day, I've been attacking lions that came after your sheep. I've been attacking bears that came after your sheep. He went and attacked. And those are the kinds of people that you need to be around right now. You need to be around people that have a fighting spirit. You know, Cherry wouldn't be out in the trenches right now if he wasn't a fighter, right? We wouldn't, my husband and I wouldn't be doing yep. certain things if we weren't fighters, right? So, you know, you really got to get around fighters. Cherry, were you about to say something? Oh, no, I'm listening to you. You're you oh. going, girl. Go, Dr. <laughs> Let's go. Preach that. Okay, go. Preach that thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. Like, you got to be around people that are fighters. You got to be around. I like what you said, Apostle Jackson. Like, he's a fighter. You can't be around people that are just going to lay down and say, I'm going to wait till everything is over. You know, actually, I read, I listened, I watched the video. I got to send it to you, Carrie. I'm going to send it to everybody on here. And they were saying that, and this is not saying don't be careful. This is not saying 
don't use good hygiene. This is not saying don't use wisdom. But this doctor said this, and um, shoot, if I would have thought about it, I would have had it played. Maybe I'll play it tomorrow. But basically, in this video, China, they were saying how people that still gone outside. Oh, who is that, Garland? Yeah. What's up, Garland? You got the best hand. <laughs> Thank you so much for working on the property. I appreciate you. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. How's it coming in there? I'm Kerry going to show you some pictures. We, we we got the living room almost all the way down. We just redid the whole living room over again. Nice. How's the kitchen and, and the bathroom? The dining room. So, so what we're going to try to do is do two rooms a day so we can meet your deadline. Yay. How's the kitchen and the bathroom coming? I'm praying for it. <laughs> Come on. Y'all agree. Come on. Let's all touch and agree. Okay. Touch agree. Touch agree. It's going to be okay. We, we good. Like I said, we only want to get so much material because of the time that we live in right now. So tomorrow right. we have a big, uh, it'll be a big progress over here. Awesome. Awesome. Well, I declare we have all the material and all the resources that we need in Jesus name. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yep, in Jesus' name. Dr. Jewel, I love how you keep it moving. I love how you feel progressing. You're not, you ain't, you're not staying stuck in the mud with it. You're keeping things moving. That's how you get things done, being determined. Yes. That, that, that go get it spirit. Yes, yeah, you know, we have to have that. You know, and our spiritual father has taught yeah. us that. And so, Carrie, thank you so much uh, for just jumping on here. Really quickly, what would be the last thing that you would tell somebody that says, you know what, I'm ready to become wealthy because you and Crystal started pretty much at ground zero, right? I remember yeah. being out yeah. when first came, right? And you like yeah. all the way up, you up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what would you tell them like is the number one, what would you say is one of the main things? Who was one of the main things of what? Say that again, Dr. Joe. Just becoming successful, because you, you started at like ground zero. Yeah, well, it's all about your uh, your foundation. So one of the things I always got to say is that you got to have God in the equation, no matter what. I don't care what it is. You got to always first make sure that God is in the equation, because if God is not in the equation, everything that you build, everything that you have will fall, it will crumble. So that's one of the things that I, I would say, uh, having that strong foundation with God, that, that connection, because God is going to also bless you. And another thing, too, is that the Lord was dealing with me, too, about this as well. Because the Lord wants to put more in my hands. And he was dealing with me about management. And management is so key because if God wants you to be a good steward of what he blesses you with. And if you can't manage it, then he can't put these millions of properties in your, in your, in your hands. You know what I mean? Because you're not going to be able to manage it. Because whatever you don't manage, you will lose. That's why it's a lot of people who are losing their properties here. Uh, actually, all over because of back taxes or... Uh, whatever it is, uh, uh, they got on the demolition list because they're not maintaining the yard. They're not uh, securing the property uh, because they have too many properties. And that's one thing that I dealt with, just to be real with you, transparent. Like one thing I dealt with is that once the Lord started blessing me with it, it was like it was, it was like whoa! I need to start knowing how to manage because uh, I was getting tickets in the mail when it came to blight tickets and things like that. So but now I'm starting to tighten it up a little bit, where I'm like I'm starting to be more disciplined uh, on staying on top of stuff and, and managing. So that's one of the keys I know is having a foundation and also having management skills to manage what God has blessed you with so he can put more in your hands because if you can manage it, God can just start throwing them properties at you. Deals coming left and right, left and right, left and right. So that's one of the things I want to share with you guys is that having that foundation and making sure you manage what God bless you with so you can get more. And you know what, Kara? You know what else you did? Is we had to start bringing, adding people onto the team. You had to oh. start adding people onto the team. I had to start adding people onto the team. Those of yes. you that are watching right now, you can't just come up by yourself. You've been trying mm -hmm. to do what you know. That's not enough. Yes, yes. That, that's true. You need a team, too. That's another thing that that's a part of the management that um, – Thank that shout out to Dr. Jewel. She's been helping me out with the management side <laughs> as far as putting my team together. And uh, and I, I notice how easy it is where it helps me leverage my time more where I can get more done instead of being stuck doing this over here and cleaning out. Like I used to literally be in the buildings, demo, demoing our buildings with guys or whatever, or picking up trash because I just know that's all I know is to, to work, to get it. I have a strong work ethic, but now 
once I got once I get, got higher, once God elevated me to a different level, I had to start putting a team in place. A team is so important to have because you're able to get more done when you have a team. That's like it. That. That's it. And that's what I really want to encourage you right now. China's so cute. She texted me like, "Chat, I got some money to invest. You better come on, sis. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. But I want to say this um, as we get ready to wrap. Those of you that have been watching, Carrie, thank you so much for coming on here and, you know, walking through the property and all of that. You know, it's just good for the other contractors to kind of see somebody else, you know, because sometimes, you know, y'all know. So it's just always yeah. good to have a squad, right? Yep. Um, yep. Were you going to say something? Oh, no, no, no. I was just, okay. um, I was going to go back in the house, but you, you guys weren't able to see the house because of the lost connection. Yeah, the Wi-Fi. Yeah, yeah, because I got my truck on right now. I got Wi-Fi on my truck, so if I, I guess once I get further away from my truck, it'll turn it. off. Yeah. Got it. Okay, well, I appreciate you getting on here. This was a blessing. Guys, get back with the person that invited you on here. Tell them you're ready to get started. Tell them you're ready to get started. Yes, House. All right. All right. Hey, Dr. Jewel, you're you in good hands. We got you. Don't worry about it. We represent in Detroit from where you're from. Yes. Thank you, Garland. <laughs> All right, yes, Garland. I appreciate you. So thank you guys. Right. Um, I'm going, Dr. Jewel. Okay, see you see later. You. Thank you. Bye. So guys, I hope that you were inspired by this to learn how to trade foreign currency, learn how to trade cryptocurrency, make up in your mind that you're going to get started, having the right relationships, bring right decisions, that bring right results. So guys, it can happen. It can happen for you. You just got to make a decision that you're ready to start. So again, get back with the person that invited you on here. We'll be back on here tomorrow morning at the same time, Thursday and Friday. And tonight, those of you, uh, if you don't already have an online church uh, to plug into, plug into me and my honey are going to be on Destiny Center Facebook page tonight. And I'm so excited talking about the spirit of the warrior. God is the greatest warrior that we know. We can learn so many things from him. And so get on tonight at 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Eastern. I love you guys. I believe in you and you can have it all. Until tomorrow or tonight for online church. Bye.